Hello, Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane Pro and HD video blog for Wednesday, the 3rd of July, 2013. We have a little bit to talk about today as an area of disturbed weather in the Gulf of Mexico looks like it's going to have an impact on portions of the southeast. You can see the Hurricane Center has it outlined with the yellow indicating low potential of tropical cyclone development over the next 48 hours. Looking at a visible satellite picture, you can tell there is a lot of moisture gathering here streaming into the southeast United States, coming up out of the Caribbean, across the Gulf. In fact, if we switch to the water vapor imagery, which gives us a much better look at how much water vapor is in the atmosphere, hence the name, the water vapor imagery. Upper level trough carved out here, a trough out in the Atlantic with a building ridge over the western Atlantic and sandwiched in between is this very copious and quite efficient f uh, stream of moisture coming up out of the Caribbean, even parts of the eastern Pacific contributing to this moisture plume. You know it's been very rainy over the southeast over the last several days. People are sick of it. Unfortunately, especially for Florida here, the west coast on over to the Panhandle, that pattern is not going to change. And in fact, we might see low pressure organize and bring even heavier rainfall with an increase in wind. We'll take a look at that in just a moment in more detail. As a result of all the moisture, you see all of this green, all these counties here in the southeast uh, under flash flood watches, and in some cases there are warnings in effect. So pay attention out there. These heavy bouts of rain can drop an inch or two in a very short amount of time, causing driving difficulties. They can ruin act outdoor activities, obviously, but in terms of uh, the impact to people and their livelihoods, you know, it's really important to understand that you don't need to be discounting the impact of rain. Oh, it's just a bunch of rain. It's no big deal. Well, too much rain or rain occurring over too long a period of time, for that matter, can be a problem. And you need to be aware and just use common sense. Slow down while driving, things of that nature. Don't let kids play near swollen uh, ditches, embankments, things like that. And if you have floodwaters, don't forget all kinds of creatures like to take advantage of floating around for their survival. Fire ants come to, to mind, snakes, you know, rodents, whatever. That's the hazard. Rainfall can be an issue, so don't take it lightly. Looking at the radar for the southeast, you can see how that moisture coming into the uh, eastern part of um, the Gulf Coast here over Florida and then up into Alabama, Georgia, even over the mountains, uh, obviously with that orographic lifting, the mountains, the Appalachians, uh, squeezing out the moisture even more. So the streams of rain coming in, dumping in some cases an inch very quickly, especially with these slow moving lines of storms. And uh, it's going to be problematic for the region, unfortunately, for the next couple of days. Some of the 4th of July plans, even 3rd of July plans that have been scheduled could be in jeopardy because of this pattern. If we look at the GFS, this helps us understand uh, what's going to be happening uh, over the next uh, about 48 hours or so. This is valid uh, about right now, uh, a couple hours shy of the current conditions. So this will be valid at 2 p.m. on uh, today, on Wednesday, so almost right now. And you can see this is the surface map. You have the Bermuda High sitting out here. There's Bermuda. There's the high. Bermuda High, right? And you can tell by the wind barbs, a very stout southeast flow coming in out of the tropics, pumping in that moisture, squeezing it between that high pressure and the upper level trough that you can't see because this is a surface map, but that upper level trough carved out here. And here's your squeeze play in between with that large slug of moisture coming in. Now I want to point out Watch how these wind barbs come in, and then they kind of change direction here. And if you look at them like that, you can draw this surface trough. So there is your convergence zone right through there, your surface trough in the Gulf of Mexico. If we move out another six hours, this is valid uh, tonight at around 8 o'clock Eastern Time. More uh, in the way of all these showers and thunderstorms coming in. And you can see the curvature of the wind barbs here just trying to pinch off a low pressure area very weak in nature the upper level winds only marginally favorable and by that i mean they are just barely divergent 
in the upper levels where the air is spreading out to allow that rising motion to take place just enough so that I think when we get to tomorrow morning that we will see a weak low pressure area develop because now not only do you have the winds coming in like this but you also have a westerly wind right there so weak low pressure 1012 1010 millibars at the most and that is very weak but enough to start making the wind come in from the southeast here a little bit stronger clip maybe uh, 15 to 25 knots at the most over the open water but that's enough to make the seas pretty rough down here just a nasty day unfortunately for folks along the Florida Panhandle it looks like on this 4th of July as this low pressure area works its way in even as far west as Mobile Bay Gulf Shores Orange Beach area you may be under the gun with some shower and thunderstorm activity and an increase in wind yourself unfortunately it's just the way it is moving on out into time by tomorrow night when people are getting ready for the fireworks yes still lots of moisture streaming in here the weak low pressure area finally getting on shore uh, somewhere in the Mississippi coast it looks like and you can see right off the east coast that strong Bermuda high holding firm this is something we're gonna have to really watch as we get into August into September worry about that later but I think we're starting to see the signs of the alleyway for potential landfalls later this season luckily this particular system will remain weak and so as we get on out to 48 hours finally even though there is still some residual moisture and energy left out over the Gulf a majority of the bad weather is inland and the action really shifts over to the eastern Pacific which we'll look at in just a moment actually right now uh, Hurricane Delilah moving on that little bit of a curve to the southwest and then away from land away from Mexico over here so no problems there then we have invest area 97e right here that's going to try to slowly develop and the computer model guidance generally a northwest motion paralleling the coast of Mexico how large this becomes will determine if this area of Mexico gets clipped with any impacts from the outer rain bands from this system as it slowly develops so far none of the computer models indicating that this will become a hurricane but water temperatures out here are warm enough it wouldn't surprise me if this eventually does become a hurricane and hopefully it too will eventually get steered out out to the west and away from the Mexican coastline to keep any direct and substantial impacts away from that region so the bigger story is the eastern Gulf of Mexico and the Florida Panhandle the deep south and really the whole southeast if you want to lump it all together with this weak low pressure area keep your ear to the NOAA weather radio any weather apps that you use on your mobile devices that give you alerts uh, there's a great app called radar scope you ought to get that put it on your iPhone or your Android device and keep up with what's going on with the radar returns it'll actually show you your GPS location in relation to the radar return so you know exactly where you are versus those rain bands coming in and just be safe out there all right it's a crowded busy weekend as we celebrate yet another year of our nation's independence and the 4th of July holiday obviously a big one for our country just be safe out there be weather aware and even though this is a weak system it does bring its own set of impacts with it and we want you to be aware of that all right, I will be off tomorrow and on Friday doing my own celebration with the family, a little bit of a vacation time. So have a good 4th and 5th of July. I will be back on Saturday with another video blog at that point. Again, I am Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com, my website. Always an honor to be able to produce these videos for you. Hopefully they help you out in your planning purposes. I'll see you again on Saturday.